This is the story of a man named Stanley. A simple man with a moderately simple job. To sit at his desk and push buttons all day long. His job was so simple, in fact, he could even work from home. And so Stanley sat pushing buttons all day without a thought in the world. Until one day, his buttons stopped working. How could this be? How would he do his job? Stanley had to fix this. Stanley stepped out of his office through the door. Took the stairway up to check the second floor. To the right, Stanley kept his storage. That was where his instincts led. But instead of right, he set his sights on the room to the left instead. Stanley knew this room was not the proper choice. But he sat down and ignored his inner voice. This whole story thing was something Stanley couldn't comprehend. Let's start over and find a proper end. Stanley's buttons heard blah, blah, blah. You know how this goes. Stanley had to fix this. Stanley took the right hand door. No, Stanley, right. <laughs> it appeared that Stanley wasn't very bright. Now the story is utter rubbish, and it's frankly all your fault. Your disdain for my directions brought our plot line to a halt. Let me see if I can get us back on course. Now, oh dear, now how'd we find ourselves outdoors? I admit this all seems foreign, but I loathe to recommend We start over and find a proper end Or at least something with air conditioning Hang on, Stanley, I have an idea Let's try something different This should make our story shine, the Stanley Parable Adventure Line Now the plot is much more clear Why did it lead us into here? That's not right, surely not Is this much closer to the plot? How's it worse with every turn? Oh, isn't this a lovely firm? Well, isn't it? No, no, I suppose it isn't. My standards are just becoming painfully low. Stanley took the... Hold on, Stanley has disappeared. Stanley slept through his alarm, just as I feared. Well, our story doesn't need him. What did Stanley ever do? We'll find him a replacement, like you. Yes, it's perfect. This new Stanley is much improved. Other than the fact that Stanley has moved. Come on, make us a decision. Think like Stanley. Play pretend. Oh, I wouldn't. Oh, you did. Then it's time for me to bid you and Stanley a proper end. But the video had so little budget that instead of a massive fiery explosion, it simply cut to black. The audience waited, filled with questions. Was it over? Was Stanley dead? Where was the beard? Is that poor, handsome narrator out of a job? Oh, not to worry. I'm gainfully employed on YouTube now, making covers of the stupendium songs. Say, Ori's aloof and kooky, Natsuki's sweet and cute, Yuri is deep and brooding, Monica's brains and beauty. It's all me. Hmm. <laughs> Why you attack us? Ah! Absolute. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you to the Stupendium for doing an awesome job. Go check out more of his music right there. The Stanley Parable is available right now on Steam, but you can also take it for a test run with us over on Replay. As a reminder, you can support Random Encounters and the Stupendium over on Patreon. All of the behind the scenes content from this will be available on our bonus channel, RE Extra. Get that song down below if you liked it and push those subscribe and bell buttons just like Stanley would. Beard Salute! Ooh!